Welcome back to another video, and here's some of the coolest concept cars, part two. And number one is a 1998 Chrysler Pronto Cruiser. This was basically the concept version of the PT Cruiser, and that's where it got its styling from. The Pronto Cruiser is painted Aztec yellow. It has a rollback fabric top large five-spoke rims, a nice futuristic looking interior, and the car is very round. The engine is a 1.6 liter inline four-cylinder from the second generation Neon, and it has a five-speed manual transmission. It has 116 horsepower and torque, and it does zero to 60 in 11.1 .1 seconds with a top speed of 115 miles per hour, which isn't too bad. Next is a 2006 Chrysler Imperial Concept. Chrysler decided to bring back the Imperial name on this concept, and they first used the name in 1926 and ended in 1993. Also, this was revealed at the 2006 Detroit International Auto Show. Anyways, Chrysler wanted something more luxurious than the 300, almost like a Rolls Royce, which is what it looks like. This thing even has suicide doors, other cool features, are the brushed and polished aluminum grille, headlights made to look like they're individual pods with projectors, and same with the taillights. It also has 22 inch aluminum wheels, a lot of brushed and polished aluminum, a sunroof, and the color on the exterior is imperial bronze. And on the inside there are white and brown suede seats, metallic bronze accents, and pink lighting on the dashboard. As for the engine, it has a 5.7 liter Hemi with a 5-speed automatic. The Hemi made 340 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, and Chrysler claims the 0-60 to time was 5.5 seconds. Number 3 is a Chrysler ME412. ME means mid-engine, 4 means 4 turbochargers, and 12 refers to the V12 engine. It also has a 7-speed automatic transmission. Only two of these concept cars were produced, and one of them is a fully working car. And fun fact, music artist and actor well known from his role in the Fast and Furious, Ludacris, owns one of these concept cars. And it has 850 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. So this is faster than Hellcat, a Viper, and a Challenger Demon, although the 0-60 to time is slower than the Demon, 0.6 seconds to be exact. The ME412 does 0-60 to in 2.9 seconds, while they claim the Demon does it in 2.3 seconds. Now to talk about the exterior. It has quad exhaust tips, a huge Chrysler wing badge on the bumper, deep hood scoops, scoops on the side, headlights that sort of look like Lamborghini headlights, lines in the hood, clear taillights, a rear grille, 20 inch, 12 spoke rims, and a lot of sharp edges and lines. Inside it has a carbon fiber dashboard, white leather seats and steering wheel, and it has a glass roof. So you can also see the engine. Number 4 is a 2009 Dodge Circuit EV concept. So Dodge created the NV organization, meaning environment and new vehicles. So basically Dodge wanted to bring electric vehicles to market, and that was about the same time Tesla was introducing their Roadster. And there were two circuit EVs, a yellow and an orange one. This also has a styling of the Lotus Europa S. Dodge did add their crosshair grille to make it look like a Dodge. And the yellow Dodge was revealed at the Geneva Auto Show as a carbon copy of the Lotus. While the orange one was released along with four other EV Mopars, all in that NV organization. Anyways, the color was called Tangerine. And it has side skirts, a small spoiler, taillights that sort of look like 4th gen Viper taillights. And overall this car looks really good. Inside it is very small, with small bucket race seats with the Dodge logo on them. And it has a 3 spoke steering wheel. And it is electric, with 268 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque.
God is a Dodge Challenger holy guacamole concept. This has features the Challenger hasn't had before and I really like this concept. So to make this concept, Dodge took the Challenger 50th Anniversary Edition wide body and painted it rotten avocado green, as Dodge calls it. It does have a custom gold school painted shaker hood scoop, 20 inch forged line wheels, coilover suspension, custom 50th anniversary side stripes that are green, a 485 horsepower 392 Hemi, and a black spoiler with the scripted Challenger 50 badge. The interior is my favorite with custom green and yellow plaid inserts on the door panels and seats with wood grain on the center console area and gauge cluster. It also has a holy guacamole badge on the right side of the dashboard. The last concept is a 1971 AMC or Jeep Cowboy. This used a lot of Gremlin and Hornet parts. In fact, the front was taken from the AMC Gremlin. The Jeep Cowboy was a concept, although it was almost made the Jeep Cowboy was a concept, although it was almost made, to compete with the Toyota and Datsun small compact pickups. These would have either a 3.8 liter or a 4.2 liter inline six cylinder. They ended up going a different direction and made the Jeep Scrambler CJ8. The truck looked really cool, and it was basically a gremlin with a bed. On the tailgate, it has Jeep embossed. On the tailgate, and Jeep badges on the fenders. And it was red with a red interior. There really isn't much information on it, but it would have been cool if they actually made it. And that's the end of this video. Which concept is your favorite? Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you next time.